All right, everybody. Welcome back to World of Tanks on the PlayStation 4. This is Tactic Angel. We are playing a little game here in the Panzer 3-4. Uh, Panzer 3-4, tier 5 tank that pretty much... Uh, I don't think this is a tank that actually exists. Um, thank you, sir. I will go this way. Um, that said, this is kind of a hybrid between the Panzer III and Panzer IV, uh, and it's got uh, kind of neat frontal armor on this. Um, I've always been a, a big fan of this tank. It feels like, honestly, it feels like it's a little bit too good, mostly because it's just about as capable as the Panzer IV. It's certainly no worse off in terms of armor than the Panzer IV. And it's a lot more maneuverable. Now, if you saw there, guys, I was aiming while moving at full tilt at a tank. It's a good idea to do that because if you just auto-aim, you'll have like a 1% chance of hitting them and if you did what I did you'll have closer to a two two and a half maybe uh, anyway this is kind of a, a long and meandering video because uh, you know you don't get to you don't get to pick the games that you have good games in right so sometimes you're just bombing around this is the first game that I played this day uh, and as it turns out, uh, pretty solid game. Um, I've ha held on to this Panzer 3-4 basically because I like it. And I've gotten a couple of first place masteries, but I never got the, the top mastery badge on it. And it's just been sitting in my garage for like a year. So I was like, I'm going gotta, I gotta to see if I can't knock this out. Um, as you can see, this gun is relatively accurate for a tier 5 medium tank. Uh, we are shooting, I think, a KWKL48 or something like that. I think it is the exact same gun on the uh, Panzer IV, which is a, another reason why... I, I feel like this tank can overperform against other tanks of its tier, or real tanks. So as you can see, we're kind of uh, playing the right side of this. I don't like to go into the hill on the, the south hill. I, I think that's just a terrible time. Um, but apparently it's pretty popular these days because nobody's really doing much over here other than me. Uh, we're f looking at 5.5. Five. Not a whole lot to speak about. Uh, mostly hitting off of other people's spots at this point. So probably getting half XP off of most of these shots. But, you know putting damage down range and it's not exactly like I'm shying away from it. Now this is the the head-to-head -head between the Panzer IV and the Panzer III IV. And as you notice he's bouncing shots off of me. He's shooting up at my my relatively well angled um, frontal plate. Um, it's as thick as 80 millimeters there. Um, which is the same thickness that you'll find on the Panzer IV, or at least that version of the Panzer IV. And it's at a 45 degree angle, then he's shooting up at me. So he pretty much doesn't have a lot of chance to get straight through the front of that, which is one of the reasons why this tank kind of shines when it's, you know, top tier like we are here. There's another 3-4. Uh, he is not paying attention to me. Uh, that will turn out to be maybe a mistake. And now I am 
fairly certain that there are a couple of tanks to my my left here and I have a pretty good feeling that that guy is going to be able to take out a tank destroyer that's going to turn out not to be the case so we're hunting down the arty here um, at this point we've come to the shocking realization that we've killed eight people which is actually a pretty phenomenal game um, it's just this the 7.5 KWK L48 is just a workhorse at this tier it's the gun that every German tank pretty much has in some capacity um, and I don't know it's just it's just great um, it can put the herd out there there's a poorly aimed auto auto aim shot uh, we try to pay a little bit more attention to the scenery uh, and now I've got nine kills here and I'm fairly certain that the guy who killed or that tank destroyer right there is the same tank destroyer that was in the north and he must have killed the light tank that was trying to engage it so I'm thinking he's gotta still be over here he's a tank destroyer he's not that fast so we're gonna take a pretty extended tour of the map um, I'm a fan of capping bases um, I'm not not gonna dress it up I like to win games I think this one's pretty well in the bag um, and I probably have a reasonable amount of latitude to make a mistake here and and not throw the game away but I have killed nine people in this game like a dozen times maybe more I have never killed ten people so when I realized that I had killed you know seven then eight and then nine guys I was like I kinda owe it to myself to go see if I can't find that last player I know it's greedy I don't know if it's greedy if you're doing like a ton of work for the, for your team but whatever I wanted it I want it so at this point we're just like cruising around and it's getting frustrating because it's like mm, not gonna find it uh, as you can see we have located him on the south side of the map I should have been paying more attention to when I was spotted I thought maybe I got spotted the other way um, clearly that didn't that wasn't that wasn't what happened tactic angel it's just not what happened uh, we're gonna see if we can't get back here uh, I have a bad feeling that this artillery is gonna shotgun this tank destroyer right <laughs> But apparently not. Apparently not. Uh, maybe he ran away. There he is. Um, got a nice auto aim shot on him. Gonna take a quick little juke here. And one more. What? Oh my gosh. It's like the saddest nine kill victory in my World of Tanks career. There you go, whatever, killed nine people, did a billion damage. In fact, I did 380 less damage than the rest of my team combined. I do want to briefly take an aside here to say, if you see a guy who's killed nine tanks on the on the enemy team and he's probably gonna kill the tenth like consider it just consider being a generous human being and and not you know I need 200 damage so 
It hurts. It hurts. So, oh. so I hope you enjoyed the replay. Um, whatever. These games happen, but it's just so sad. Uh, enjoy the German tanks. I'll see you next time.